Now, let's return to sport and the proof of the adage, you're never too old, especially if it means reclaiming a world record. Yes, Steve Ward from Mansfield was, until recently, the oldest professional boxer in the world. But wouldn't you just know it, an American fighter took the title from him earlier this year. Steve's not a man to let his record slip, so the 59-year-old is coming out of retirement to bring the record home. Here's Michael Sibbett. This was the moment that Steve Ward became the oldest active professional boxer in the world. It was March 2011 and he was 55 years old. Afterwards he was named as the Guinness World Record holder and even had a civic reception in his honour. It was phenomenal. It, it was great. People were coming up and congratulating you and you felt ten foot high and it really meant the world to me to have that. After a narrow defeat on points at the end of last year, Steve decided to hang up his gloves for good. That is until February, when his record was broken. It was my wife. She was reading on the uh, internet, and she says, I've got some bad news for you. Bad news? It couldn't have been no worse. And Americans got under the radar while I've had an injured hand, and it's took my world record away. It's took it to America. It shouldn't be in America. So... What better than me coming out of retirement and bringing it back again? To say he's back in training wouldn't be quite accurate. He's never stopped. But the intensity of his work has increased. He'll top the bill against a man 24 years his junior on the 12th of December. In Mansfield, they call Steve Ward the legend. And he still draws a crowd. Tickets were completely sold out within two weeks of the fight being announced. When a fight comes up like this one, this opportunity for him, uh, you know, he grabs it with both hands. And he gives it everything he's got. You know, we'll train for two, three hours on his fitness. He'll do his technical stuff for me three or four times a week. He's as committed as any professional boxer I've ever met in the 20 years I've been in the game. In order to get his full professional license back, Steve has had to prove his fitness by undergoing a full day of extensive medical tests, including a brain scan. He passed with flying colours. And time. A lot of people tried to talk me out of it, but I'm doing it. I'm not going to lie and say it's as easy as when I were younger. Of course it didn't. That's natural body ethics. But when you love something, as much as I love the boxing sport, you tolerate it and you dig deep. And that's what I'm having to do. The first time Steve Ward stepped into a ring was more than 50 years ago. But he says come fight night, he'll be the fittest he's ever been. A real chance of landing a knockout blow and retaining his title. But reporting there, go on, Steve. Sal, do you, do you know who the uh, oldest world champion boxer is? Um, I think that would be the American Bernard Hopkins, who won the WBA crown in March last uh, year at the age of 49. Good boxing knowledge there, Sal. Hey, you can't get away from that. <laughs> um, now, John's next with your weather forecast. We've already found out it's going to be pretty grotty it's this be weekend. Packing a punch. Oh. Behave yourself, woman. Here's John. <laughs> 